How's it going everybody? My name is Lox and today I'm going to be showing you how to spawn enemies. So we're going to start by getting our cursor to the center. Let's spawn a plane and let's get a cube. So this cube is going to be our player and we'll just make our player, who knows, maybe a blue color. Move them over here for now and then we're going to go in here. Make sure our property is called player. And we're just going to copy that for now, use it a little bit later, and then we're going to spawn another cube. This cube is going to be our enemy, and just for continuity, we're going to make this guy red. And, wow, red versus blue. Okay, so now we're going to give this enemy some logic. So we're going to say always, and instead of using a steering, we're going to use an edit object, and we're going to use a motion. This is going to allow the enemy to track the player. So we're going to set this to track to, and we're going to click on our blue cube here, but we want to set the track axis to X because our enemy is facing on the X axis. Then we're going to give this enemy a location on the X axis of 0.1. Now, if we press play, our cube follows the player, but we have another problem. We need our enemy to be a dynamic object. So we're going to go to dynamic, we're going to give this enemy some box collision, and we're also going to give him a friction of 1 and a rolling friction of 2. It's going to let him uh, traverse a little bit more accurately. Okay, so we actually want to be able to spawn enemies. So we got our player, we want to be able to spawn enemies, we're going to put this enemy on the second layer. So now that the enemy is on the second layer, we're going to add a empty plane axis. Move this to the other side, and we're going to make this a always and an edit object. We're going to connect these two together, and we also don't want this edit object to spawn infinite enemies, so we're going to put a delay, connect the delay in with the always, and turn it on to invert. So after about 120 ticks, we want this to stop. We'll set the spawn rate to about 25. Press shift use both layers and use your eyedropper tool, select your enemy. So now we have the enemy selected. We can minimize all these and go back to our main scene. So now that we have this, if we press play, you will have enemies spawning at a large rate. And that's how you spawn enemies in UPVGE 2.5. I also have a video coming out about how to spawn enemies in 0.30. If you want to see that or you're interested in the new versions of Blender, subscribe and leave a comment on what you think. Thank you, and I'll see you later.